What's up guys? Speaker here. Today I have a tutorial. I'm calling it Realistic Water Reflections. And it's just going to be a quick tutorial on this, pretty much. So let's just run preview here. We've got some cool uh, reflections in the water and they look fairly realistic. Not perfect, but it's uh, definitely uh, believable. And uh, you don't have to use Element, but I'm going to be using Element here. You can kind of see more uh, realistic 3D-ness with the uh, perspective and everything. But you can use 2D layers. Anyways, let's just go to tutorial over here and uh, just make some text. Make sure your uh, X Z plane is perfectly on the water so everything's oriented correctly. So it's like the water is the ground. Um, make sure when you place your text it is not too far below that when you ram preview it looks like it's floating in the water already make sure it's you know high enough so it actually looks like it is above the water so something about there that looks good um, so what we're gonna do is duplicate element and let me just turn off this track map that's on accident we're gonna rename this to element reflection I'm gonna put it underneath there we go so element reflection go to scene setup here Alright, so we're in the scene setup, and I got my text with the reflection and everything. Just some simple uh, text extrusion. Uh, I want this to be flipped upside down because it's underwater. So when we click on the model, we can scroll down here, and we go down to orientation, and there's flip right here. So we're going to flip on the X axis. Nope. On the Y? Yes, on the Y axis. So it looks perfectly upside down, still B-O-O-M, but upside down. So we'll click OK, and uh, let's go back in the scene setup, actually. This needs to be on a new group. Actually, no. No, it doesn't. Just kidding. Because this is on a different layer. So if we go to Particle Replicator, just slide this down just far enough so it looks like it is underwater. You might need to uh, ram preview a couple times to make sure the height looks OK. Um, just got to make sure the parallax and the perspective looks good. Um, so right away, it uh, looks pretty poop. It's just right on top. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go to full res here so we can uh, take a look. Zoom in here. First, uh, let's take our uh, normal cinematic. Let's duplicate this. And let's go to layer. Pre compose. Kitty, you need to be quiet. Shh. And um, let's leave all the attributes and let's call this displacement map. Hit OK. Let's go into the displacement map. And we want the water to be as much contrasted as we can. So we're going to put on some levels. And uh, let's just uh, darken it and then uh, crush the whites. So the water is just really contrasted. Lots of blacks and whites instead of. Uh, kind of the same tone of gray. So that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit brighter. Okay, so we'll go back to tutorial, I mean comp. Let's turn this off. We don't need to see it. Um, first on the reflection layer, let's close element. Let's just add a quick fast blur and uh, maybe five pixels. Okay, repeat edge pixels. And maybe some turbulent displace. Okay, so it's it's really wobbly, so let's just turn the amount down to 10 and the size down to 10. Maybe the amount up a little bit, 20. So we kind of get a little bit of wiggly effect on the edges, but where the real effect is going to come from is the displacement map effect. So this will displace based on the water luminance. So we're going to change our layer to the displacement map. I'm going to choose luminance. I'm going to choose luminance. So the bright parts um, and the dark parts will affect the layer differently and uh, we'll displace it pretty awesome. So maybe just 25 and 25. And now we get some really, really good. Um, maybe not so much in the X. I don't want to look too crazy. But that looks pretty good. And um, it'll affect, or it'll change as the water moves and uh, reacts pretty nicely. 
Now, one more thing I want to go over is um, the deeper it is in the water, the less you should see it, right? Right. So, what we're going to do is make a new solid. Just call this mat. And we're going to use a ramp. Boom. Turn this layer off. And what I want to do is go back a little bit. And um, the two, what are these called? Whatever these points are. Uh, just drag this to the top of the text where you think it would uh, show up the most. Take this one to the bottom of the text where you want it to disappear. Let's keyframe the start and end of the ramp. Let's move forward about halfway and just adjust this. So this is still on the top. This is still on the bottom. Move forward. Can't really see it, so move back a little bit. Again, this is still on the top and on the bottom will probably be down here somewhere. So. What we're going to do, if I turn this back on, the black is on the top, which is what we want the text to show up in. So this mat needs to be above the reflection, and this reflection needs to show up in the black and not the white part of the mat. So we're going to use Luma Inverted, and you'll see that kind of cuts off the bottom as we uh, go forward. So that's a cool way to make the depth look realistic as well. Um, one more thing, it's kind of optional, but on the element reflection layer, just add a quick tint, and we can just sample colors from the, uh, the cinematic. So I can pick, you know, like this kind of brown tan and this dark blue, and um, turn the amount of tint down a little bit, so maybe 25. So it still uh, it still shows. It's just kind of matching the tint a little bit, the color of the overall scene. Well, that's pretty much it. Turbulent displays, displacement map, make the reflections of the water look really realistic. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, if you make any edits with this effect, uh, you can make a video response. Actually, I think they took those out, so maybe uh, post the link in the comments and stuff. Be sure to like and favorite the video. Comments if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any tutorial suggestions, I have a link in the description. If I pick you, it will be put in the uh, description. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something cool. And that is it. Alright, peace.